Welcome. Body number nine. Number nine. Welcome. Number nine. UP podcast. Number nine. <laughs> Man, I just want to say we've been here for all nine. Let's go, you and I, baby. That's unreal. <laughs> that is unreal. Let's go. Man, the two most inconsistent boys in disc golf being the most consistent boys on the podcast. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Just throwing it out there. I mean, yeah, enough said, really. Okay, before we get into the drink review, I'm throwing this out there. I'm getting into the little Zimmy announcement right now. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I just want everybody to know it's been probably a year and a half, maybe more, since I've played in a sanctioned tournament. It's, I think the last one I played in was the uh, up and down where I came, what was it, second, where I blew the lead? Second, I think that was yeah. the last. That was the last one I ever played in 2022, I think. Yeah. So tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm in a C tier, N A D D T C tier. Let's go. <laughs> I'm in M A two. There's five of us in it. What tournament? Uh, it's the R M uh, office supply. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> It's the RM Office Solutions LTD at Wyclip. It was closed. And then I was just like, yo, what the hell? Message Kevin, who was actually just on our last podcast, everybody, just so you know. Uh, and I just say, yo, I can't get in on the tournament. It's like, man, that's technically my home course. He just like, I'll open it. Get in now. Oh, dude, that's unreal. Man, I was looking at that too. Crap. I didn't even I didn't even know this one was there until Bob pulled out of it. Yeah. Yeah, so I was just like, well, I mean, why not? So Yeah, I mean, might as well. Yeah. Oh man. So why not? So yeah, I'm in that tomorrow morning. Let's go. You're gonna dump <laughs> Yeah, I hope so. Let's go. We're gonna go out and practice some <laughs> Yeah, so so uh this is my uh, official out of retirement announcement. <laughs> official return to the field. Uh official well, please welcome Brayden Zimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting for duty. First first round is from long, second round's from short, so let's go. Second round the second round's gonna be hard though, because it's been absolutely piss poor conditions around here. Like the wind horrible oh really i mean it's like playing the leverage man and i don't know how to do that Oof, good luck unless it's golf yeah yeah i uh, know so, whatever let's get into the drink review that's like throw that's that out there. yeah <laughs> okay wizzy what, what you got going on in the drink all right uh i got a nice uh raspberry twisted tea classic i think i shotgunned one of those on the weekend on accident you did big mistake yeah, not good. No. I'm not even gonna give that an at least a six. That's gotta be a six. At least. Yeah, I'm drinking it, so it's a six. But that's like that's a that's barely a six. Let me tell you. Ooh, that's bad. Oh. Well, tonight I've got a Hoyne Brewing Company Fiesta Ale. Look at this can. Oh, that's sweet. Sick can. You got you got some good can designs yeah, for these drink that's reviews. What I'm here like, for. That's what I'm here for. They're sweet. I really like them. <laughs> All right. Ready, 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 ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. Crisp. This gives you the right. shivers. 5.2%. Let's, uh, let's give her a little review. Mmm, it's like a nice cerveza on the beach. Mmm, mm, bring me to Mexico. I'm going to give that a good 8-4. Oh, okay. That's good. pretty high. That's pretty That's... high because, like, one, the design's sick. It is. The design is sick. Yeah. Two, flavor, it's there. Out of this world. Mm hmm Nice. No, I'm here for it. I'm At least we got it. we got one good bevy on the on the pod tonight. I have to. Yeah. Alrighty, Wizzy. What do we got going on tonight? Uh first, we're gonna talk about a little bachelor party that we just had for uh, Mr. Jared Ooh. Elliott. Ooh. I'm still recovering. Dude, I know. That yeah, so last weekend was it May what? 
24th, 25th, 26th. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. We had, we had a nice uh, bachelor party here in Lethbridge for our good buddy, Jared Elliott, who you all know and love. Uh, and Daddy Jerry. We had a good time. Like, oh, Jared, boy. Jared just got off night shift Saturday morning, slept till like one. Zimmy and Austin gets, picked him up on the way through. Gets, in, gets into the car. First thing he has to do is a is a freaking ice. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, you can you can have the front seat. He just like, oh, thanks, man. It means a lot. Looks over in the door. He just like, oh, you piece of. <laughs> look, 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 look. So good. So oh, I man. saw that when I was I like uh, playing her playing a couple holes with Logan and Devin, and I was like, that's yeah. amazing. That's what he man, needed. I had. I had no idea who Logan was before this weekend. That weekend, he's he's one of the boys. I love ten, that guy. Ten, ten, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Man, I love him. Kids of beauty. <laughs> Absolutely. All the, all the boys were beauties. We had a good time. We had a like, great time. And all anybody said when it was over was like, "Man, we have to do this again." Like, because it was it was so much fun. One, so much fun. We went and played Aperture on Saturday, uh, all mm-hmm. eight of us. Took us four hours to play 18 holes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think we were on a ball golf course? Like We almost Did played it? We played golf the next day, and we almost played faster. I didn't even know it took us that long. It took us four <laughs> hours, man. It was insane. Well, I mean, we were like shotgunning every second hole. We were. We were all drinking. We were all. We all sucked too. So there were some bad shots oh. that we had to play from. Like, oh. oh, it took a while. And we were all like, we were shooting the breeze, having a good time. Like, yeah, we, nobody was in a rush. Together. I had Logan coming out, calling me daddy by the hole too. Yeah, he got him warmed <laughs> up like that. Man, did I ever. I just want to say that was a 10 out of 10 call by you by putting Logan as my partner for the weekend. I knew you'd get him out of the shell. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Who else? There's not a person who in else? this world who can pull somebody out of their shell like you. <laughs> it's unreal. Oh, man, that, that, that dance floor got shredded. Did it ever. The boys were oh. boogieing at Hudson's. Mm-hmm. Anyways, oh. minus Hudson's. Let's uh let's head on to uh Picture Butte Golf Course. Man, so yeah, Sunday, <laughs> the boys are a little rough. Um, a little rough <laughs> as an understatement. <laughs> Man, I woke up at I woke up at eight like eight o'clock. No, it was earlier than that, and there was the Canada Sweden game. Uh, in the Double IHF World Cup was on, and I was just oh. like, I bet I'm gonna wake up and watch this i guess stayed up for like i don't know how long a couple hours i guess and then i just like well i guess i'm gonna wake up logan and austin and Lawson's just (laughs) of course he was (laughs) logan has a freaking hat over his face just like a cowboy i'm just like like, oh oh, these boys are just done for it all i had to say to logan was you want to eat that guy just woke up in silly, just like continental breakfast. Let's go, baby. Let's oh, go. You know, I'm pretty. I, I, I'm bummed I missed that, but like, I, there was no way I was getting up. There, there was, was no, no way. I was knocking on your guys' door for a solid minute straight, just banging on it. I was you just like, out. do I courtesy? Do I courtesy call them? No, the one who wasn't out was Devin. Devin of course. opened the door and he like put the lock over it. So when we come back, we were just like, oh, door's open. So that's how we ended up in the room. That's what I figured. Like, I was just like, what the heck is even going on? Yeah. And then we ended up, oh, that, no, that breakfast, unbelievable. But it sobered me up. It was dangerous. Yeah. I shouldn't have eaten. Yeah. You know what? I Same thing for me when we went to the mall and I got that dub. I'm like, this is going to make me feel better. Two minutes after I was eating, I was like, nope, yeah. my gut is yeah. hurting now. Oh, bad. Oh. The boys were hurting on the golf course. But once we got going, got the cart girl out there. Got a couple bevies. We were, it, oh. it was a good time. Man, it was a good time. Okay, but first tee. First, okay, so I was the first swing. Hyped my drive. Oh, that piped we, it. Absolutely had, piped it. We had two foursomes, and it was just a four-man scramble to see who plays the best. It was me, Jared, Jaden, and Devin against Zim, Austin, Brad, and Logan. Our team went first. I piped my drive. I'm like, all right, this is going to be a good day. Jaden comes up, tops one, 
two feet off the tee box. He's like, okay, Jaden doesn't play golf. That's fine. Jared walks up. Jared's got this nice brand new driver, which he broke, by the way, two holes later. Two holes later? Two holes later. But first tee box, guy swings, hit, topped it, so much spin on it, rolls two feet behind him. Like, I was running to the clubhouse. I was like, I was ready to go home. That was I one have, of the best things I've ever seen. Never. I God, I wish we had that on video. I have never How? seen somebody Why go did negative we not yards. Have it on? Why did we not have it out on video? A whole one at Picture Butte. I don't know, man. We definitely should have. That was that was good. I'm yeah. kicking myself over that. Uh, but, but yeah. we're we're gonna have to bring those boys out there again. Oh, for sure. We're we're gonna go play some more golf. And, and then me, I get iced. I get iced on what hole? That was Four? like five. I don't six. even know. Six. six. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, I was we... so mad. Straight uphill. I'm already like pissed off because like we're gonna probably take a par on this one. We could easily take a birdie because yeah. like our confidence level was through the roof. That and round. Ours was. That... Ours was through the roof. We birdied. We we chipped in a birdie for, like from. A, a bit away on that island hole and it was just like we're That's just like awesome. oh no our com- our confidence level is sky high right now we're gonna birdie every hole from here yeah. on out yeah <laughs> logan's drives are piss poor <laughs> oh my goodness man that kid i thought if he gets a hold of one maybe he could he could get a hold of one but <laughs> but he didn't <laughs> it just, he didn't the, the the one time he got a hold of the shot was in front of you guys on 18 when he yes. almost eagled, eagled the par like, 5 for us. Stuck it to a foot. We're like, what the hell? Yeah, we're just like, oh, you guys are just like, oh, that's an easy birdie for them. Like, We, we, we did four, four birdie juice shots. That's what we did. We didn't get a single birdie. I almost <laughs> drove the green on hole 11, and we still didn't birdie it. It was like a short par 4. I was like just <laughs> short of the green, and we still didn't get the birdie. I chipped it that... onto the green just a little past the hole. The other three yeah. boys, short, short, short. I'm like, well, we're taking me. <laughs> Not surprised. But it's a good, th- you know what? I was kind of on, like, my drives. Like, I had one errant drive all yeah. day. Other than that, piped set down the fairway, perfect. And Man, if it wa- I think you and I would do well in a good two-man scramble. You know what? We got to shoot a, a nine-hole video, me versus you. Let's do it. Let's do, it. Let's do it. That'd be fun. That That'd would be, be a so fun, fun one. Because I think you and I are probably the most equal golf slash disc golf players in the group. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, if anything. And, dude, after seeing Jared play on uh, <laughs> Sunday, him and Austin might be pretty even in golf, too. Yeah. <laughs> and Austin doesn't golf. No, Austin? No, I want a big, big shout out to Austin. That man actually cared after whole two three he was just like guys like what do you think like do i do this and everything like what do i do and like he's just like do i open the face more and there was one shot where i was just like man you got to close the face down and try and get it like topped underneath that tree that man put it like probably five five feet to the pin that's unreal. I'm just like there's no way this guy just listened to me i me i had golf <laughs> advice i told him <laughs> I told this guy golf advice and it worked. That's like, so good. I was like, am I actually good at golf right now? So yeah, uh, I'm going to have to start playing a bit more golf apparently. Dude, like, I, lo- I love golf. It's so much fun. Yeah. It I was so the damp. right points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah but you know, 90, bu- 90 bucks for, for that cart. I mean, I wish the cart had a little bit more juice to it, but 90 bucks for the. <laughs> The course was beautiful. You got like yeah. there was three different courses on that one. Yeah, picture beauty like, is three so nine nice. nine whole courses. Um, yeah. we like we had the boys out there. The car girls came by and they were double che- like they were double checking on our group all the oh, time. As they should, like, hey, they yeah, knew. You, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. It's like, oh, we're good. We're good. They knew. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I. You know what? I thought those teams were going to be pretty even. I could not mm-hmm. have been more wrong. I don't think Jaden's ever played a round of golf. He was the second best no. guy on the team. 100%. Devin had actually, Devin and Jared were pretty good on the putting green. Yeah. Off the putting green, Jared oh, had man. one good drive and one good second shot onto the green. Devin had one good drive on a par three where it almost went in the hole, and that was it. 
It was Dab. sick. Little par three awesome. guy pulls out a friggin' hybrid. I heard hybrid. screaming. I heard screaming. It landed like perfect little like slice. Landed yeah. short, rolled up right past the hole. We're like, ah. man, there was on that on that long par five. Or it was a dog leg right. Mm-hmm. Like a long dog dog way, right? Mm-hmm. I absolutely piped it to the furthest trees you could see. Yeah. Like middle fairway, furthest trees you could see. And then I'm just like, okay, boys, like let's get on for Eagle. Like, why not? Yeah. Put it past the green for Eagle. And I'm just like, all right, boys, like let's put it in the hole. I put it probably a foot from that hole off the back side of the green. It was probably like a 60 foot putt, man. My putting, I felt nasty. Oh there was two God. times where we one should have pulled the pole and two should have kept the pole in. Oh no. Yeah, man. That would have been one eagle and one birdie. That would have put us three down more than what we were. That's unreal, man. <laughs> Cause I think that one that we eagle or that one that we could have eagled, we actually ended up parring because we we just missed the set the last putt. So yeah. but but yeah, no, that was that's a little a uh, little bit about the weekend. We uh, we had a good time. Uh, a blast. Got a got a noise complaint. Not two minutes being into our hotel room at two a.m. So that makes sense. I mean, look at the boys. I mean, yeah, we're not exactly quiet, but no goodness, no. But I don't think we quieted down really either, and then we never got told again. Exactly. So I I don't know, but the the morning I did see a lady and she looked at us and she just like gave Austin and I a little glare and I looked at Austin and I was like you think she's one of the ones that complain he's just like there's no doubt yeah <laughs> oh well oh it's so good uh anyways eh, let's move on from that weekend let's go to the Portland Open um let's talk about that uh Gannon Burr actually just set a uh, course record yesterday shoot 10 down yeah. Gannon Burr. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he over, he, no, 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 no. Is he? He overshot a par four and he was 60 feet past. He was on his knee and he hit the eagle. Oh my God. One of the cleanest looks I've ever seen. That's disgusting. No, no, man. It... <laughs> okay. He shot 10 down again today. <laughs> Guy had two 10 down rounds. What hole was it that he eagled? Oh, hole four? Goodness. oh probably. Yeah, I don't he even... eagled. He eagled hole four both yesterday and today. Oh my God. He shot a 1077 round and a 1075 five round. Not surprised. Gannon's winning today. Oh, or this, this, uh, well, this there weekend. goes there goes my picks for who I think is going to win. Who is your pick? AB? I had AB or Calvin. Yeah, no, I had Gannon. Well, I, you, I had yeah. Gannon. Good call because I don't yeah, even know my call because he's he's due. He he hasn't won in a month and a bit, I think. Yeah. He's due. He's due. Yeah. AB's eight down after two rounds, way down the leaderboard. Eight down after two rounds, where Gannon's what twenty, 20 down? After two 20. rounds. Where's Cal? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. yeah, he's probably not even in her this weekend. Yeah, I thought he was. I thought I checked today. I, I thought he was too. Okay, wait. Maybe I just missed him. I'm trying to find him right now. Maybe I scrolled by him. Oh maybe yeah, okay. The... He's he's tied okay. for fifth. He's tied for fifth. Oh, I was gonna say I thought he was in there. Yeah, he could still pull it out. He's nine strokes back. My God, man, that's ridiculous. Gannon, okay, who's who's second right now? Drew Gibson, fourteen down. He's six back of the lead. Good for Drew. Good. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's go to your who's your M- uh, FPO picks. See, I was going Kristen K- Tatar. Now, well, that's obviously, how can you? Could. Well, that's she's injured. She can't be there. Is she there? No. No. Yeah. She, yeah, because she got her rib injured. Yeah. But um, I got Rebecca Cox, actually, was my ex-pick. How can, and how can you not? 
seventh right now. Shot a nine down today. Nice. Not bad. She's only what no. is she? A couple back, five, six back of the lead. Ooh. Yeah, so hold f- up. I'm just pulling her up. Oh, we got a Canadian. Oh, yeah, Sophia Denek- Denecki or whatever. Yeah. Canadian girl. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Represent. Mm-hmm. And then own right behind her. Not oh, only tied. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Not only Canadian. British Columbian. Let's go. Western Canada. Huge. Let's go, baby. Huge. If it's Western or far, far Eastern, I'm a big fan. If it's like that Eastern part right before the ocean. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. But no, uh, good good for uh, Sophia own. Uh, I honestly have Missy as my my winner because it's just that's my she's up there. It's, it's just you. It, that's Missy is my Rebecca to you. Yeah, fair enough. So, so yeah, yeah. Uh, killing it. And then my my like dark horse type one. I was going Sayonada. Oh yeah, yeah. I love her. Sponsored by Westside. And she loves metal. Yeah, Big I remember fan. you saying that. Big fan. Yeah, if you go back like three or four pods ago, you'll mm-hmm. you'll hear me talk about Sayananda. So mm-hmm. uh yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna go with her. I like it. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> oh man. Man, I my my dark horse for MPO. I was thinking. Uh, I was kind of. I was leaning on Luke Humphreys. I like it. I, I like it, that guy goes off. He does. Uh, for me, it's gonna be Albert Tamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, buddy. I'm gonna go with Bradley Williams because I like Bradley Williams, and I think he can pull out a a dub. Hell yeah. Like, no, I'm I'm a big Bradley Williams fan. Yeah, be. Man, he's not gonna watch this, but if he does, <laughs> that's what I did. I love it. Oh. Yeah, no, no, I'm he. Not a big fan of him. No, so. you make fun of the boys, you make an enemy for life. Exactly. But I mean, if, like, if you want to come on the pod, exactly. Come at us. I'll let you. <laughs> um, open man. Yeah. So uh, let's move on to some local news. We got the the Fernie tourney. Good old Fernie tourney. What a tournament! Yeah. Oh yeah, man. I went for the doubles night. So much fun. Yeah. I had a great. I had a great time. Didn't do well. Oh no. <laughs> Goodness no! I was with Jackson's dad. Oh man. He was the one who pulled it out for us. So. Oh no, Zimmy. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I mean, there were some holes where I obviously parked the hole, but there were some putts where I was just like, "Ooh, baby, <laughs> baby, I need your help." <laughs> oh no! But we had a great time. It was well, fun. That's, that's all that matters, right? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure actually Jackson won that with like 14 down. Jackson and his partner. It was something ridiculous, 12 to 14 down. That's ridiculous. Yeah, no, Austin and I, he was a hole in front of me. Just like, man, Jackson, you should just like chill out. It's it's doubles night. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, come on, guy. Just, just um, relax. No, there was a there was a three-way tie for first, and they had to go into a uh, playoff. And it was uh, Casey Hannemeyer, David Trussell, and Ryan Watson. Yeah. Yeah, no, so, and uh, I th- I'm pretty sure Casey came out victorious there he did dude yeah so david trussell american guy american guy yeah, good for him from whitefish whitefish ryan yeah i remember playing with ryan that one round in lethbridge he was the guy that i met at the van oh yeah that, uh, long okay. beard long yeah. hair yeah 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 no i i like ryan yeah. uh noah no higgins he was one stroke back of become being in that in the playoff, in the playoff Man, so. he made a post he's gotten fourth place in the fernie tourney like the last three years in a row man just do better that's just Sorry. his spot apparently apparently uh and then tie, he was tied with matt 
uh, Picognan, uh, Adrian, Adrian, good old Adrian, yeah, yeah, and then uh, Wild going from fourth to seventh, uh, Kevin Sheehan, Connor, Connor Mickelson, Bogdan, let's go, Bogdan, yeah, Bob, Bob come ninth, tied with Bogdan and Joshua Minder. Good old Bob. Oh, and he Matt injured Hawk. himself. Yeah, yeah. He's he's hurt. He pulled out of the tournament that I'm playing in tomorrow. Ooh, what did he do? Yeah. I think he sprained his ankle. Twist, he twisted his ankles pretty good, and he's on crutches right now. I saw that. I saw, yeah, he's made a post about his crutches being his friend for a while. Yeah, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that because Bob, he's, man, a guy who's really put in the work at that's Bob. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Bob's been grinding. Without, we'll, we'll, I'll have to reach out to Bob, see if he wants to get on the pod one day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just shot a video with him, Harry, and Nevin at Spring Run. I saw, I saw, I saw the, uh, the post that he tagged you in or yeah. our, our UP in. So. Yeah. 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 That video yeah, and oh, honestly, a nice little plug. If you haven't uh, followed UP, uh, we're on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Kick. I think we'll we'll get on Kick when we'll we get, get Jerry. Kick, when Jerry's yeah. on his uh, rotation, Jerry's on a four on four off rotation, so it's just, you know, a little bit tough. Yeah, Jared. Jared's gonna have to be the one to run Kick. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. So. Man, you know what we should actually try and do? We should start what's doing that? um what's that friggin' app for disc golf, that game? Oh, Disco Valley? Yeah, we should see if we can start playing that on let's there. Just, let's just stream in it. Let's get yeah. the boys on. Let's yeah. get it like one once or twice every week at certain time at night. Yeah. Just so like when we're all chilling, play an eighteen hole course. We'll get on Discord and then uh yeah, we'll we'll play together. Yeah. I like and that'd be so much fun. That would be fun if we could do that. Oh my god, Dan, Dan and I played together one day and it was so much fun. I was just oh, like, yeah. Dan, like, what'd you shoot? He just I shot a two down. I was like, oh, I shot a one down. Had a boy, I'm gonna suck the cock. Anyways, um, let's move on. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta uh, give a big shout out to uh Kevin King who won MP40. Oh, yeah, I forgot Kevin. Big shout out to him. And Mr. Matt Bell, who won MA1. And also... The, the shot, Matt Bell. Not the, the touring pro Matt Bell. The, the Matt, Matt Bell. Bell. I don't care what anybody says. Dude, his first round, he shot a 10-10 rated first round. Shot 8 down. It's 10-10 rated. Uh, so I'm here drinking this Kolsch. <laughs> he's shooting 10 tens and i'm doing beer reviews let's go <laughs> but then yeah he balanced uh, that 10 out. 10 this is what this is he definitely balanced it out in round two shooting a 9 12 round oh man i'm happy with it that's 12 over my rating yes no, i'm that's a, that's a win in my book what do you <laughs> balance it out that's a I'm just good saying, round that's almost a <laughs> that's almost a hundred point difference oh yeah no that's horrible but the but to shoot a ten ten round, man, that is something that's, else. At that's at Fernie sweet. going, yeah, going that's ten sweet. ten. That's that's good. And I don't know if you saw this, uh, but Daddy Matt won MA two. And I'm not surprised, as he should. Good old Matt Herman. <laughs> yes. So we got two of the Matts winning. Good for him. And Matt Herman didn't just win. He won by like six strokes. Sandbagger. Yeah. What is he doing? What was, uh, what's minus one in MA1? Oh, let's take it. The guy would have been tied for fourth. Sandbagger. You heard it here first. You heard it here first on the p- podcast. Uh, Matt we're gonna Herman. Have to we're going to have to get the biggest sandbagger <laughs> in the valley. On the podcast, I don't know. After tomorrow, you might be the biggest sandbagger in the valley. Don't even come at me. <laughs> don't even come at me. I've never won. I guess neither has Matt. So until now, until now, oh, too good, <laughs> man. And I'm I'm also going against Sawyer Ward, and uh, I think that's the only one I'm going against tomorrow. I guess kind of crazy that I'm talking about that I'm playing against people. 
in a tournament. It's been a while since I've said that. No kidding. Man, <laughs> five man, guaranteed top five. Guaranteed top five and guaranteed I'm coming to Lethbridge August 25th, 26th. Let's go. Because you're in that's it. That's where the because I'm in it. Let's go. So Huge. so you'll you'll I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to have a good, good place to stay, Daddy. I got you. Wait, twenty. F- oh, do I got you? Am I even here? Check the schedule. Twenty fifth, you said. August, yeah. End of August. Oh. <laughs> I might not be here. But oh, well, can I use your place? Yeah, Keith, 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 <laughs> okay. Keith should be here, so you should oh, be good. Oh, Keith will be there? She'll be my caddy. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Mm, perfect. <laughs> Are you coming to Falcon Slate? Is it, is, is it open? Like the... Oh, it's full. Oh, uh, no. But I'll come with you. I yeah, come, come camp. Man, that's all I care about. Yeah, come have a good time. Come, come ride the bag for me. I'm down. Man, do you know how hard it is to find a caddy in this day and age? It's unbelievable. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find one for tomorrow, and it's tough. Jess isn't in. No, her her uh, we got family down for uh, shoot guns and everything, and gotcha. a lot of, a lot of little personal things. So yeah, we're fair enough. Kind of, she's gonna go there, and then I'm gonna go there after. So yeah, fair enough. Oh yeah, man. Oh, oh. When, when is it? August thirtieth, September first. I'll put in the days. I'll put in the days. Yeah, I'm there. Out. I'm there. Hell yeah. Too All good I of a need time. to do is, I think I just need to take the Sunday Monday off, right? Because that's a long weekend. Yeah, the Monday should be a stat. Okay, so I would need to take the Sunday Monday off. So per- perfect, perfect. That's okay. Um, I'm there. Hell I'm yeah. there. I'll Are come you- with you. Well, I'm heading up the Thursday because it's like I play Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I'll be able to. I'll take Thursday, probably Thursday, Sunday, Monday off. Dope. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Cool. And then I'll probably come out Wednesday night to you. I love it. And then we'll just head up from here. I love it. Perfect. Let's I think go. we just got our plan for Falcons flight. I don't need to play. I don't need to play. No, we're gonna have a good time. Seriously, I can go play after the rounds, like the Ex- midnight rounds that we played and everything. I don't need the pressure on me to do good. <laughs> oh man, that's on you. You're the MPO guy. I'm MA two right now. I went MA one for this one. For Falcons. Fair enough. That's where you need to be. Yeah, it is. That's where you need to be. <laughs> yeah. It is. <laughs> I know that. I you know that. that. Yeah. Everyone yep. at MPO knows it. 69 on the wait list. Oh, cool. <laughs> Who is? 69 people on the wait list. Weston's on the wait list. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, Bogey Bros. I just want to say right now, I think this is uh, edition number 80 right now of me calling you out. Uh, again, we're going to call you out. We're gonna be in Sandpoint to end of July. <laughs> I would, but I'm gonna. I'm, I'm taking a different approach right now. I'm just being very kind. Um, I'm being very zesty right now. Uh, yes, Bogey Bros. I hope to see you soon. Love you. <laughs> um, we're gonna be in Sandpoint. We hope to see you. Wow. <laughs> Love you. That's my new approach to the Bogey Bros. I like it. Trying to be super nice and super zesty. So that's gotta uh, get yeah, them. Yeah, it's gotta. Uh, I don't know what to do anymore. They they comment on our thing and then they don't comment back. And... They're good dudes. They we just want to have we just great want that dudes. Collab. It's just it's just Hunter is the one that called us out saying that well he'll need all four we'll need all four of us to beat them. I see four of them. I would Let's say get after it's it. Silas and Connor. Yeah, I'd say that you, you Jerry, uh, Austin, and I, we can are pretty them. identical. Yeah, we could take them for sure. I think so, without a doubt. Yeah, 
Easy. After seeing, after seeing Devin's little pen, I had to grab one myself. Purple, <laughs> by the way. I Purple. love it. I love it. That's sick. Yeah. Oh. I also lost mine. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you lose it last think... weekend? Yeah, at the hotel room. Oh. No. I think it's in the hide bed Oh, no. Is that where you slept? Yes. Nice. I turned the TV on and then I woke up to some Canada Sweden uh right yeah 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 uh yeah. semifinals I think it was or right. yeah semifinals <laughs> or no it was no it was like it was a bronze medal game never mind and I was so pissed when they blew the 2-1 lead it was 3-2 and then that's when I woke the boys up yeah I was like hey we're going we're going we're going for breakfast yeah, let's we go gotta get out of here. We're, we're done watching let's go I want to let you know um I went to league the other night here and there's a guy playing there. And we're just we're having a we're having a good bullshit, right? And he's like, "Man, I love your guys' podcast. I watch it religiously." What? Yeah, yeah. Man, big shout out. What's his name? His name's Scott. Big shout out to Scott. Absolutely. Big beauty. shout out. I love Got, it. He's like, "Man, I even uh, called out uh, Foundation for you guys." He's like, "I want to see that matchup." <laughs> so do I. Right? That'd be I... sweet. I've been we've been waiting for what two years now At this least. is year two of us calling them out mm-hmm. oh but we only go to the USA <laughs> we only go to the USA we'll be there no more excuses yeah so do we so do we boys we go to the <laughs> USA <laughs> done with that dumbass approach of <laughs> yeah no nah. Hunter Trevor come at us Let's brother go. Let's go. All right. Zimmy, I say we end this podcast the only way we know how with a couple of questions. Couple of questions? Okay. My top three favorite movies. Let's go, baby. Number go. three on my list. Yeah. Number three on my list is going to have to be The Grinch because I love Jim Carrey and I love okay. The Grinch. Okay. If there's anything that will get me into the Christmas spirit, it is The Grinch. I respect that. If there's anything to get me into any spirit of anything, it is the Grinch. I love it. It is the Grinch. That's all. Okay, number two. Number two, I'm going to go with the big short. The big short talks about uh, the 2008 economic collapse, and it goes super into detail. I watched it five times in two months. Man, you pick up on so much detail. After I think, oh no, I watched it at your place when I was super drunk one night. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, I was watching it with Cameron the one night. Cameron and I were watching it in the basement. Nice. I've actually yeah, never it was seen awesome. that. Watch it. Okay. Watch it, man. That's one of the sad. best movies I've ever watched. Uh, okay. Number one, this is not going to come to a surprise to you at all. If this isn't number one for you, I'm going to have to punch you, man. <laughs> Grown ups, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. It has to be number one. I knew that was gonna be number one. <laughs> yeah, it has to be number one. <laughs> How about you? What's your top three favorites? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but grown ups <laughs> is not my number one. It's my number three. Oh, you okay? At least it's in the top. It's three. in the top I'm three because yeah, too many good memories, and honestly, just such a good movie. Oh, man. I love that. The Adam memory, Sandler. the memory that sticks with me the most with Grown Ups is yeah, the... with Mister Wizzy here. <laughs> hey, where's this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's this catch a tune? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so good so anytime good. it doesn't matter wh- where we are we could be out in public and we'd be like doing a drink at the same time it doesn't matter anybody around us we have that same like okay we're gonna have to do the same like you yeah, see if... me at the corner of your eye i see you at the corner of my eye and i'm like all right we're gonna have to do this we're it's gonna going have to down. do a little 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 grown-ups adam sandler kevin yeah. james obviously i'm kevin james because of the, you know, the gut so <laughs> yeah that has to be top three for sure uh, for my sure no- number two i gotta go with the shawshank redemption that's have to one of my favorite movies of all time i love I it i like it i really I like, like it, it. It's one of my yeah, favorites. It, it just, you know what? I'm dumb, so it confuses me. 
<laughs> it's funny. I say I'm dumb and it confuses me, but I'll watch The Big Short. Yeah. Watch it. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Okay. I had to watch it five times to understand what's going on. So, jeez. <laughs> oh, and my number one, I'm a huge superhero nerd. So, my number one movie is Avengers Endgame. 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 I yeah. knew it. Yeah. I just wanted to throw Avengers, any Avengers in my honorable mention. And so good. And dodgeball oh that's a good one too dodgeball is also in my honorable mention because how can you go wrong with a good vince Vaughn? i'm gonna i might i've been watching the walking dead with uh jess lately and uh oh, yeah. first time ever watching it first time ever yeah I've yeah never, never watched it. it before i'm i'm we're on season watch it man watch okay. it oh yeah yeah it's good it's good it's a it's a good binge one we've we're we're two episodes off from season two we started this i think when we got when we got home from Lethbridge. No. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're end of season two right now. Holy so, <laughs> yeah, when that's, we got home from Lethbridge. That's unreal. And I got home a hell of a lot later than all you fucks did. Yeah. Holy. Like, I didn't get home till 12. 12. 12. Why? Because we had to stop in at my Nana's. Oh, uh, Okay. I got yeah, you. and then we had to drop Jerry off, and we had to stop in at freaking Walmart because Jerry had to or whatever. I don't even know. No, we we had to get McDonald's. Oh my god! I don't even know what Jerry had to do. I, we were all drunk on the drive home. I don't even know. Nice. <laughs> I don't even know. All right, Zimmy. One another question. Uh, top three worst movies of all time. Okay, in my opinion. As much as I love Adam Sandler, oh no, Jack and Jill is in there. Jack and Jill is one of the worst, one of the absolute worst movies I've ever watched in my life. Yeah, it's not good. Um, oh goodness, what is this name? It is I forget the name of the movie, but it was a Spanish movie. Um, and it was a Spanish horror movie, and people were like, "Oh my god." goodness people were having heart attacks during this movie like oh people had to get escorted out it was it was so scary so i was just like oh my goodness kyle harasovich big yeah. shout out absolute yeah. beauty i was yeah. like you gotta come over and watch this we laughed the whole movie it was one of the dumbest movies we ever watched like we turned all the lights off in the basement like remember where, my old place where oh we had yeah place? spooky oh yeah we turned all the lights off and we're like, all right, let's get spooky. And man, all you could hear is this, like, at one scene, just like this girl just like walking along. And Kyle's just like, I walked a lonely road, the only place that I have ever known. And I <laughs> cried. I was just like, no, I can't do this shit anymore. It's like, we're making fun of this movie. <laughs> like, how am I having a heart attack? The only way I'm having a heart attack is if I do hard drugs yeah <laughs> like <laughs> which you probably way to... you'd probably need to do for that movie to be scary by the absolutely. sounds of it absolutely yeah. <laughs> absolutely my number one least favorite movie this might be controversial minions i absolutely i absolutely hate the minions really? i don't care what anybody says they're overrated overrated wow i do not care and i hate when people dress up as a minion for halloween what are you trying to be spooky? You're a minion. Yeah. You're there for Halloween. You're not there to be a dress up as a minion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I didn't realize dress, the minions. I dress, no, I'm sorry. It's just since the dirty sneakers uh volleyball tournament years ago when we played a minions team and Ty Tyler was smacking these on them. And I was just like, man, we should probably slow down. And he just like, man, this is how we're going to get to the finals. And he yeah. just kept hitting balls on him. We made it to the finals because he kept doing that. Yeah. And I was just like, man, fuck that Minions team. And why were they even there? <laughs> and why are the Minions even like, banana, 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 banana. Man, I'm sorry, but I'm just a little pissed off <laughs> about life right there. Like, you, a movie 43 is way better than that. I'll watch Hugh Jackman with balls on his chin any day. <laughs> any day of the week. I didn't realize the Minions were such a hot... I'm sorry, topic. I'm sorry. I hate, I hate the Minions. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
Uh, I just went on a good, like, I just went over a whole segment there. Just you with that, did. Just with that Minions rant. I'm sorry, go on. What's your okay. What's your top three least favorite? Oh, boy, you get me off. So, like I said, I'm a huge, like, superhero nerd. So, um, my <sighs> third least favorite was uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Fair. Did not live up to the hype. I was thoroughly Fair. disappointed with that. Movie. I've heard that from multiple people, and I will. I won't watch it. No, don't. It's a waste of time. It's not a What's good movie. Point? What's the point? That's what an hour and forty five minutes, two hours of my time. I'm not going to get back. Yeah, it's really not worth it. Uh, next on the list, I got to go Wakanda Forever. Another movie that did not live up to my expectations. You know Absolutely what? Absolutely hated it. I'm with you. I think it's because you didn't have. Uh, Black Panther in it, really. Yeah, I, I mean that definitely played a role, but like, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was a good movie. I didn't like I'm any. Like, yeah. I any think part I got of it. through forty five percent of it, and I turned it off. Yeah, I, I just got bored of it. I couldn't handle it. I it was so bad. And then my number one all time least favorite movie. You've probably never even heard of it. Max Steel. Is what I've it's heard called. of Max Steel. I've heard of Max Steel. I have never watched a more disappointing movie in my entire goddamn life. Really? Okay, I'm glad because so... I think that was on my list, and I'm gonna have to take it off. <laughs> I think so Max bad. Steel is on any list of mine, so I gotta be so so bad. Like I, <laughs> it was the dumbest friggin' movie I've ever seen. I have no idea what the hell even happened. Like it was so it was supposed to be some superhero movie. I don't even think the guy did anything. Like I think at one he found some alien tech or some yeah. he used it like once in the whole movie and it was just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Mm. I Oh man, I was so I was physically ill after I watched that movie. Oh my god. Physically goodness. ill. Like it was so bad. <laughs> Oh. Okay, actually, there's another movie I want to throw out there that's, like, a good movie. And if you haven't watched it, watch it. Real Steel. Oh, so that... good. Man, I I don't even know why that wasn't in my top there. Because yeah. Real Steel is one of the, like, best boxing so, movies. So It's good. just, like, you got, you got the, you got the, you got robots and people boxing that's sick as hell yeah it's sweet like, that's such and i a good just want to throw this out there deadpool also oh, dude. phenomenal we got deadpool and uh wolverine coming out oh i cannot wait i can't wait i think that there's a movie that comes out july 26th is when we come back from uh sandpoint sandpoint so yeah. i think it might be that movie <gasps> Dude, if it wait. is, if it is, I think Jess and I are gonna have to go check her out. Uh yeah, I'm gonna have to go see that. July twenty fifth, it comes out. It's okay, okay. If we're if we're are we still in Sandpoint then or are we coming home then? I think we're coming home the twenty fifth. That our that's our first day that there. Our first day there? That's our first day there. So we're okay. doing that okay. one night. Okay. Let's... Yeah, we're doing that one night for sure. Let's go. Yeah. Man, Let's like, go. Okay, that'll be sick. Picking these three hard best movies to me was like one of the hardest tasks. I knew my number Absolutely. one right away. After that, Absolutely. it was like there's so many good movies out there. So like, many good movies, man. An honorable mention for me was Coach Carter. I love Coach Carter. I Coach Carter. If Coach I need Carter. to get hyped before anything, I'll watch Coach Carter. I love it so much. Such a I might have yeah. to watch Coach Carter tonight or Dodge. I know Dodgeball. Dude, you got me hooked on Real Steel. I gotta try and find Real Steel now. I've been trying. I know it's not on anything. I know. It's I've ridiculous. been trying. I might still have I it. know. I might have the DVD here. Don't tell I me might. that if you do, I'm gonna I have might. to steal it from you. It'll cost you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is potty number nine. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Obviously, we, again, don't have the boys, but the last two pods, you got you got blessed with a couple absolute beauties of a guest. You so, did. And yeah, we'll get more guests. Don't you guys worry. Yeah, no, I've got Soren lined up. I've got Chris lined up. I'm pretty sure we can get Bob lined up. Oh, we'll have to get Bob. I've got um, Eric. Eric will want to be on. James Kazumi said he'd be down to be on. James, 
Yeah, and that guy's beauty. He I love beauty. Jake's. Yeah, we could get some. Maybe, we'll get maybe, some good guests. Maybe we'll get Jerry into Austin on on his guests too. So <laughs> that'd be nice. We'll take, <laughs> that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh but no thanks for tuning in yeah this like, was fun. obviously this this is this is fun uh next one's gonna be big i think uh what oh we got the we got the giveaway don't we oh yeah you know that we didn't put anything on it last one no we did not so but we better you know, double we, up we we had a guest we had a guest mm-hmm. we were too preoccupied okay, okay. um i've got a I've got a disc. It'll be a mystery disc. Uh, actually, no, it's not going to be a mystery disc. I've got a Casey Hanemeyer A3 signed disc up there. Ooh. I'm throwing that in the pod. Absolutely. I'm throwing that in the pod, Gibby. Let's go. Yeah. That's it's, sick. Uh, if anybody, if you can see it, it's that, right up there in the that corner. That one up there? Yeah. Yeah, nice. It's my Casey Hanemeyer A3. That's a number one rated disc golfer in Canada. So signed. I'm giving pretty, it away. Pretty sick. Wow, that's huge. Video video evidence. So that's... I can't not give it away. So you you best get in on this giveaway finally. Yeah. Yeah, you better. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again for listening. And we'll catch you in the next one. Oh, fuck.